brave, loyal, and true. Today we came to Newport Elementary and we presented our children's books that we translated into ASL and all the children's books are centered around being deaf. It was one of my favorite projects that I think we've ever done in ASL. So to make this project, what we first did was we translated our book to ASL Gloss, so that would be in the order that we would sign it. And then after that, we started recording our videos using Screencastify on our school Chromebooks. We had to edit and make sure all our clips were matching up with the pages correctly, and then I had to voice them. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. They've taken everything that they've learned from the last years of their American Sign Language career and put it all together. I think that it was important for us to create these books because it was an experience for us to be able to translate and see how much progress we made throughout the years and also so we can educate elementary schoolers and have them learn about deaf culture as well. ASL culture is ginormous. There's a bunch of deaf people and hard of hearing people and it's really important to kind of spread knowledge of them and their culture because they can do anything that a hearing person can and it's important that people know that and recognize that. Of course our high schoolers have learned so much more and they've experienced a lot more in the world and it's important to show it to these younger students because they will interact with people with differing abilities than they have or different cultures and different backgrounds. I enjoyed like interacting with the kids afterwards because I felt like that was kind of the reward of doing this whole big project. The cool thing was that um, they did the whole book in sign, sign language and yeah, it was really nice. So there's multiple ways to sign light, but yep, just like that, oh, just yeah. like light. So it's like a flickering light. But the fact that they could teach somebody else and apply it to real world was incredible. I learned a ton of new signs. I always have loved ASL and it was really fun for me to learn some signs along with the kids. So this one like means friend, it's a dog. Resources for deaf people are not nearly as readily available as they should be. The seniors actually were able to bring the books and donate them to our media center so that when any student, not just the ones who were here today, when any student checks out that book, there's a QR code on the inside that they could scan it and watch the video at home and pause it and learn the signs and watch it again. So I'm really excited about that opportunity for all students in our entire school to be able to access these books. It's all about knowledge. And if the students have the knowledge, they're comfortable, and especially if they encounter somebody who is speaking a different language or from a different culture, and understanding that, I think knowledge is power. I think everybody should know a little bit of basic ASL, just some very bare bones stuff, just like your name, nice to meet you, like directions, stuff like that. Learning ASL is important because it teaches people about different cultures. 